Mugabana bwe county ya Kisi Paul Simbarati ni anyara kwa kawe kawe siobwe Kamiti ya Senate ya National Cohesion, Equality, Opportunity and Regional Integration Asoko ya resire goro yobo koreli ya semere mo aon ya serekali ya county ya Kisi Mwesikala tiniga ya resire buna ni galebo sio asoko ligere ya lichiko na kubuati ya kera kelikega ni irie Anilimono asawa koli mbele mo Niga mentako tea buna kera sweta visi niga nyolete ebi nto vitali ngebu ya Kulende niga nyarele kwa wakago chanka wakago chinchobo koreli Anilimono asoko ya nikibu na bantonko nyoroli wagari wigi ya liye mbele mo Oi goni ga bolidi aba sae kana mabaganya ra kobaka gutanga suwa kobeka masakarabo yo kweligeni meremo anelemo no ase chitenda open is 79.54 but youth women and uh, pwd you say this is about uh, 18 or around 20% most of these positions they are advertised therefore people apply for one reason or the other uh most of the community, I think, they have come to believe that that advert is meant for that county. But for those ones here who have applied, for sure we have uh, uh, onboarded them from the Kuyu community, Kalenjini community, Embu, uh, Kamba, um, Kikuyu, um, Luos. And if you check, the trend is that because the Luos, they are more near Kisi, they, they, you get that most of them, they are the majority actually among the Kisi uh, county employees. Chief officers, when, uh, when I did an advert, that advert came out, men were only recruited, living out. Therefore, I've made it deliberate that in the advert that I'm going to put, it is specifically talking of reserved for women. Most of these adverts, they are open adverts, the newspaper. Uh, there is no internal adverts we normally put. Most of it, we have had it open. And it opens for every person. Therefore, when it comes in, that the people that don't apply, we may not have that chance to employ them. I wanted to say congratulations is because of uh, the own source revenue. He has really improved on the own source revenue chair from 400 to 1.1. Uh, I can see you have people who are above 60. They are 72. Uh, and you know the agencies are on us because of uh, not getting jobs and uh, retaining people who are above the retirement age. Since I came to the office, I've not employed more than 50 people. I've deliberately, because I came to the office, found that... Uh, a sleeping a staff, a plotted a wage bill, actually we are doing at 60, around 67 instead of 35. It's hard for even development issues. I can't employ, I've refused. Otherwise I would have also gone ahead and employed 200 to push it to around 70. The only people I've employed is the chief officers, CCs, actually advisors. I don't have money to employ another people in there. Because all the money again is going to the wage bill instead of development chairman. When I came to the count, I found out that um, these tenders, most of them which were given on quotations, it was most of it uh, is air project where people are not doing anything, roads were not there. Therefore, I decided let it be an open tender, and it's all open tenders. Let people bid there, bid their young or elderly. But it's here I'm going to be. Like, what you'll be able to see is that we have categorized so much for the youths, for PWD, and the women, as it were. Out of the 72, 18, there are PWDs. Uh, again, uh, above 60. Uh, those, they're allowed by the law to be above 60. Uh, yeah, up to 65. I have three CECs who are above 60. My deputy governor is one is uh, above 60, four advisors, one county public service board member, uh, two of the staff so far have retired, and the contracts expected beyond 60 is 35 members, totalizing to 72. Uh, it, we, we have gotten that report, but again, um, I'll be happy to supply it to the, to the Senate.